Here we're going to talk about VeroWave automation um, in its quickest, simplest form. Basically, we have a VW automation directory, and here's our algorithms under the apps directory. Here is our libraries. Uh, we have our Tickle uh, VCL API. Here's some libraries from Python. Our VCL API allows us to talk to our VeroWave chassis. So underneath the automation directory, we have a binary directory that is where we launch the actual scripts from. Um, we also have our configuration directory. This is where we will have our collection of configurations. Now, every shipment has an example uh, config template file. This template file is uh, basically all the variables that you would typically need to get running any type of configuration needed. For our demonstration here, we're going to just change the minimal variables to get the test running. So we set our chassis IP address there uh, to 192.168.1.246. We're going to come down here a little bit on the screen. And the uh, first thing we're going to run into now is the list of tests that we'd like to run. Um, we have a long list here in the comments. And what we're going to do is cut this down to just the packet loss test. Um, just for sake of running the example, we're just going to run one test here for to save time. But we have a list here called the test list of unicast packet loss, and then any others that you'd like to choose from, here's where you get the list of tests available. So the next part, we're going to go configure our wireless uh, clients on our wireless port. So here's our wireless group, um, our network configuration, and also we need to come and look at the device we're testing, which is a Linksys 160, get its SSID, the channel it's using, see what security type it's using, which we have it disabled, which is good. Then we go set the SSID to the appropriate SSID in the device we're testing, and also we want to set the uh, channel to channel 1 as it was set up. Notice the method is none for security, so there'll be no security. So now we set up the IP addresses on the device um, on our client port. So we're going to have 200, 150 as one IP address, and the gateway will be 200, 150.1, and that will be, um, of course, our Linksys client, or our Linksys AP. Um, down here, we're going to go set up our Ethernet side, which we'll call a gateway of 200.150.1, which is the Linksys AP. And we'll give ourselves as a base IP for our Ethernet clients 200.150.25. Those are going to be on the red Ethernet port coming off our chassis as a client. So there's your loop. Uh, it's the red test network. Okay, so there our interfaces are set up. Our test is selected. This section is the test configuration for the details of the specific test. For the unicast packet loss test, notice that we only have one frame size and one load. This is, to, again, to for sake of demonstration, to make the test a little quicker. Again, each test setup has specific variables that you might want to set for that test, depending on how you want to configure the test to run. And now we're going to configure what ports we want to select. Um, notice the uh, sample generic AP is sort of a list that we're holding our information under. This list we'll use more when we start configuring the devices, but just remember that sample generic AP is the name of the AP we're calling this. So. so our chassis is set up, and we're going to name this file config 160 as it is a 160 Linksys device. And we start running the test by basically running the Tickle program VW Auto with the specific kit config we point to. And notice now to make sure that everything's looking good we go to our chassis and sure enough under our chassis we see both of our ports are running. We still haven't taken ownership as the test is just starting to run now, we go refresh our chassis, and there you go. You see I have ownership of those ports. We can then go back to the test, 
wait for the test to finish. And as the test is finishing up, we'll show you the traffic pattern on the red network. That's where we're transmitting the traffic, on the red network. We're testing, and there the test is complete. So we refresh and notice the ports are given back. So the Verwave ports are now available for another user. Um, if we were to go look now at what we get for results, that would be under the VW Automation Automate directory, results, as it's also displayed on the screen. We double click on the file and our output log is the first thing we're going to see. And notice that is exactly what came out on the shell window. As the user ran the script, the console output or output to the shell is what we see in the output log file. test information in PDF files, CSV files, and even console log files. So again, this is some of the information that went out on the console log. This is a typical CSV file that has the detailed metrics for the test. There's also a PDF file, which is pretty nice for presentation purposes, uh, nice to distribute with the uh, graphics and also it has the detailed test setup and test topology. So it's nice to have that all in one nice presentable PDF file.